Let me first put a shout out right now, if I could, for www.noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. You know, Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. And in his interview with the National Desk, Colin Plume said that the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart the economic activities. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, good time to do it. Noble Gold is giving a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k rollover in this month of September. You can't go wrong with noblegoldinvestments.com. Pick up the phone Tuesday morning at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And find out about your financial planning. Let Noble Gold help you. And tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Hello, everyone. I'm B.C. Begley, and Pastor Paul Begley is traveling today, but I believe tomorrow he should be live in the Salvation Station doing the show. And uh, I think I might even co-host with him tomorrow. I might even co-host with him Wednesday. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Um, I decided to do a few videos for you guys, upload them to Pastor Paul Begley's channel. They're a little weird and quirky just the way I like it. For the first video, we need to go to outer space. Okay, so scientists believe the existence of party drugs in space points to proof of aliens. Now, I don't know if I truly believe that or not, but I'm game. Okay, let's see what they got. Scientists believe that the existence of a party drug in space points to proof of aliens. Nitrous oxide, better known as whippets or laughing gas, could be an indicator for whether there is life on other planets, according to a paper published by scientists at the University of California, Riverside. The new paper, published in the Astrophysics Journal, suggests that the concept that space could be full of the same stuff that earthlings inhale for a quick high could also be a new indicator for whether or not a planet is habitable. Quote, fewer researchers have seriously considered nitrous oxide, UCR astrobiologist Eddie Schweiderman said in a press release. Quote, but we think that may be a mistake. Schweiderman and his team at UC Riverside's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences calculated how regularly living organisms produce nitrous oxide and then entered that data into a planetary model. They then determined that habitable exoplanets with nitrous oxide rich atmospheres could be detected by tech like the James Webb Space Telescope. While there are some non-biological situations that produce nitrous oxide, such as the small amount released by lightning strikes, the UCR team accounted for that possibility in its modeling and noted that lightning also release, releases nitrogen dioxide, which could also be detected in small levels and used to roll a planet out. Others who've considered nitrous oxide as a biosignature have, as the press release noted, pointed out that the compound doesn't exist in high quantities in Earth's atmosphere in spite of the billions upon billions of life forms living there. But Schweiderman said the conclusions don't, quote, account for periods in Earth's history where ocean conditions would have allowed for much greater biological release of nitrous oxide. Conditions in those periods might mirror where an exoplanet is today, he said. With the JWST offering the greatest space data collecting capabilities to date, the UCR team hopes their fellow scientists will begin taking the nitrous oxide as biosignature hypothesis seriously. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The scientists at the University of California here have a hypothesis that the uh, existence of nitrous oxide in space is proof, I guess, that um, aliens are real. Let me know what you guys think.